Hi hey guys, I'm Mike, I'm one of the instructors at Blair Baddock Outdoor Centre and I'm just going to talk to you for a couple of minutes today about alder trees. The alder tree, which is one of our native British trees, which just means it grows here naturally, it's not been imported from other countries, it's been around in the country for thousands of years. It loves to grow near the water um, and it has both male catkins and female cones on it, so it produces both parts to reproduce itself. The catkins are full of pollen, um, between kind of January and April, so springtime. Um, it's an early cause of hay fever, so if you get hay fever early in the year, it's a good chance that uh, the pollen from this tree is part of the cause of that. And the bees love it because it's one of the earliest providers of nectar early in the season before the rest of the flowers come out and start providing pollen for them. The cones on the tree are one of the smallest of any of the cones on any trees found anywhere. And what happens with these little cones is they dry out and as they dry out the seeds loosen off and they get scattered by the wind and they get carried by animals. The seeds are eaten by all sorts of birds like uh, siskins and ones like that which will take them into the stomach, fly away and then when they go to the toilet they'll drop those, scatter those seeds in all different places which helps the tree to propagate in other places as well. A couple of myths and legends about the tree. so. It was considered bad luck to cut the tree by people because when you cut this tree, the fresh wood, it goes red and it looks like it's actually bleeding. So it was always considered to be really bad luck to cut this tree. So don't go down to the water and start cutting these trees down. It's also been used for as a dye for things. People used to use it to dye in their clothes. And one of the myths about it, or legends about it, is that fairies used to use it for dyeing their clothes as well. And the caftans come in various colors of pinks and greens and what have you. Thanks for watching folks, and hopefully I will see you all at Blair Vatic soon.